All right, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rakhadash. I want to say double honor to the apostles and the elders of the Great Most Honorable Well. Peace and blessings to sincere I can push forward in the truth, throughout the four corners of the earth. I want to say shalom on to your brothers and keep pushing, and a double shalom on to the Israelites who look like the other nations, and a sincere I want to say shalom on to you, brothers and uh, sisters as well. Brother Dwyer from GMS Line St. Louis Camp. And I'm coming back at it with another video. And I just wanted to touch on this video right here that our brother sent in a uh, chat. You know, um, just FYI, I'm not doing this video for any monetary gain, just strictly educational purposes only. You know, it, just to show you that our people waking up, you know, y'all have seen the, um, I'm going to just say, uh, so called black woman, you know. Uh, Judite woman. Well, well, she said she was indigenous, but you know, let's just say you know she's so-called Negro, all right, from the tribe of Judah. All right, you know, cause our people waking up. You know, hey, we we at the end of this thing. We at the end of uh, Esau's kingdom. You know, a um, a salvation is near. You know, we not trying to build. You know, get no damn acres of land and build up. Nah. Let's know that this place is done. All right? This place is done. So let's uh, listen on, and I'm going to pour precepts, and uh, Lord, open this be edifying. Karen's in the wild. Now don't put them in. Please, please, please. I don't want her to sit down. You, you need to go to the bathroom. I need to get she to my Ma'am, I need to get to my Ma'am, I need to get to my Ma'am, 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 Ma'am, I need to get to my Ma'am
you're not listening. I don't have to listen to you. Then go to the bathroom. You don't, go to, you don't run me. You go to the bathroom. You shut up and stay in your lane. You have nothing to do with this little girl. I'm not talking to you. Listen to your mama. She should have told. I know you don't care. You so grown. Ma'am, I need to get to my okay, door. Okay, thank you. And I need to get to the bathroom. bathroom. Like I said, y'all don't run people. You don't run America. You run yourself. So get off your little mentality that you better than somebody because you're not. Thank you. Yeah, huh? That's what I say. See this little shit right here? This all little mentality. But you need to understand you don't run America no more. Everyone seated at this so, time. That should all Take your seat. You don't run me. And guess what? When I was 14, they said, oh, you people are so the same. I was like, the shit out that white bitch when she told me that all y'all white people are so the same. And that's, I got off that bus in Richmond, California. So you can think all you want to. All uh, y'all people is all the same. That's what y'all teach in your house. But black people don't teach that hate in our house. You need to understand that. Yeah. Yeah, we don't teach hate in our house. Y'all teach hate in your house. Y'all narcissists. But you ain't gonna play that shit with me, yes. Because I'm not a slave. I never came from Africa. I'm an indigenous person okay, to this country. Cool. You mentality. shut up. No, Let me cool. tell you you're instead of your, what your mama taught you. Let me tell you the truth. I'm the queen in this motherfucker. You understand me? You came from my color. Black make every color. You understand me? Black make every Your people are going extinct. And that's why you're mad. You can't procreate. That's what eugenics was about. That's what eugenics, the Darwin theory, because y'all know the truth. I've been waiting to say this. I've been waiting to say this all my life. You're mad because only black people have the gene to procreate. And y'all know the truth. You come from me. A black person can make any color in Africa white with blue eyes. And blonde hair, just like you, have a twin. One my color and one your color. It's called Esau and Jacob. You be quiet. Let me, yeah, for real. And I got the promise to my people. And you mad. Because the promise is coming. You understand me? Ooh, she said a promise is coming. Hey, that's right. That's right. That's right. Hey, the promise is coming. Hey, and we see it. All right. The promise is as clear as day. You know, the promise is as clear as day. All right. And, uh, hey, we, we know that the Lord is coming back, you know, but, um, hey, you know, we, we not Africans, though. We, 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 we Israelites. All right. We, you know, we not Hamites. We the children of Israel. You'll never, you can take me to jail. You're mad. Go ahead. Now let me let let me let my people know the truth on this motherfucker. Esau and Jacob, you mad because the promise is coming to my people and you think we stole the birthright? But it's yo, shut up, bitch. It's coming to us. It's coming to us. You understand me? You can't do nothing about it. That's why y'all so mad. But this whole corona shit is all about is that God is coming back for his people. And I don't give a damn. He's left. And when he come, y'all gotta get this racist shit out of here. Because if you don't, you can't accept the Lord Jesus Christ. And I don't give a damn. That's what it's all about. Because he looks like you and he looks like me. That's what he looks like. I'm tired of it. She gonna get it. They think I got so much white privilege to tell people what to do, but she need to understand California is a black queen. And that's who I am. I will. I don't have a problem. She laughing is funny, but she need to understand the respect of queen when she see one in her face. Bow down, bitch, because your eyes is recessive. I got the dominant gene. I took all. I got A plus and all of it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Everything. You got the recessive gene. I got the dominant gene. The brown eyes, the skin. Man, kind, kind. You know. Our people tired of it. You know. Hey, and the Lord put the spirit on this woman to do so. All right. He put the spirit on her. Let's go ahead and hop into the scriptures. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. All right, so, hey, this gospel, you know, hey, it's going to be teached to all the ends of the um, 
world, a, hey, and obviously it reached the ends of the world, you know, like that was just something. Um, like this little video, right here, of uh, this um, uh, this uh, so-called black woman, this Israelite woman, going off and you know saying that, like that that just uh, pushed the truth even more. You know, like it's just really just furthering the, the the truth, you know, because everybody gonna hear the truth, because hey, the Most High is just, all right, you know, that's just what he uh do, you know, he's just, and um, he give everybody a chance before, you know, he bring the destruction, you know, because that's, that's what he's doing now. It says, and then the end shall come, you know. Because hey, all you nations heard it, you know. And who was on that plane? It was all nations. They heard it, all nations. You know, our own people too, you know. And, and you know, not just um, the southern kingdom, you know, Judah. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sure he has some northern kingdom on there somewhere, you know, because uh, Jacob is at the sand of the sea, you know. It's not a black thing. It's an Israelite thing. This is Acts 2 and um, 17. It says, And it shall come to pass in the last days, said the Most High, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Right. Uh, you know, hey, that was uh, prophesying right there. You know, hey, those are uh, big facts. All right, you know, facts. It says, and on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke, right? So you got all these um, these signs in the uh, heavens, you know, blood moons, super moons, you know, uh, the brother out there in the um, LA camp, um, my my Micah Allah, he did um a video showing like like that the sky was red out there in uh California. You know, we already know what's going on um going on over there. It says the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood in verse twenty before the great and notable day of the Lord to come. All right. So yeah. And um uh, I'ma just read on a little bit more further for for the video. Just, just in case you think that uh, Esau is going to be saved. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall shall, shall be saved. Right? So you're not a Christian, just stop right there. Yeah, hallelujah, you know. Uh, but let, let, let's read on. Uh, ye men of Israel hear these words. Right, so ye men of Israel hear, hear these words. Yahweh shall Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs. And God did by him in the midst of you. As you yourselves also know, right? So, um, God, you know, like, uh, you know, that, that that's who the promises is uh, going to, you know? The promises are going to the uh, Israelites. Let's go over to Baruch 2 and um, Baruch 2 and 30. Um, I'm going to start at 29. If you would not hear my voice, surely this great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations where I will scatter them. Right? It's talking about the Israelites because we were scattered. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and verse 64. You know, it's prophesied in that chapter. If we don't obey the Lord, then uh, that was going to happen to us. Verse 30. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves, and shall know that I am the Lord, their God. For I will give them a heart and ears to hear. Right. Um, yeah. So that's what we're doing, you know, in the land of our captivities. You know, how how did you so-called uh, Negroes get over here? You know, West Indian, Jamaican, and Haitian descent. How did you get over here? All right, through slave ships. You know how did um, you know, and even some of you uh, northern kingdom was um, 
uh, shipped over to other different to other parts of the world. All right, you know that that happened to um to our people. All right, so kind, but hey, she, she right though, you know. And um, just a quick pull, this quick one. Leaves it in the book of Galatians, chapter two. Uh, 3 and 16 Galatians 3 and 16 It says um, Now Abraham Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made he said, not unto seeds as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is a Mashiach, right? So, right, to so Abraham and his seed, you know, promises were made, right? Um, it's this other one I wanted to get. I always forget where it's at. Um, it's like, yeah. Okay. Yeah, here it is. Galatians uh, 4 and 22. Well, it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by a bondmaid, the other by a free woman. All right, so Hagar was an Egyptian. She wasn't um, a Hebrew. And you had uh, our foremother, Sarah. But he... Who was of the bond woman was born after the flesh, but he of the free woman was by promise, right? It's that simple. It's that simple. You know? It's that simple. The promises were made to Jacob, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right? And um his uh twelve sons. You know? It's that simple. You know, I don't know what's so hard about that to understand. Now, you other nations, you have no part of this, all right? So, that's all I had on that, and I want to say so long.